Hi, Christian here, Vancouver Realtor. Okay, for today's video, I want to talk about how you position yourself in this market. If you're a buyer or if you're a seller, what should you be doing? What should you know? So first thing I want to say, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Read this morning that in New Zealand, people are going back to life as normal, going back to work. We, we've read and learned that China is back online. The city of Wuhan, where this virus originated, has been opened up. So things are starting to go back to normal. So you can imagine, if that's happening there, it's going to happen here too. Today we read, for example, that in BC, we've been flattening the curve as well. Less cases of people with the virus. So what we want to do is we want to start planning for the future. If we are a buyer, what we want to do is, uh, first off, well, you can see the interest rates now have been lowered, where a variable interest rate is at 1.9s. I mean, that is, I mean, it's basically the free money era, right? Uh, fixed rates, you can get in the low 2%. So it's going to be very easy uh, to get a good loan. The question, of course, is for those buyers who've been affected by this, right? If you're in the service sector, if you're in the hospitality, hotels, uh, work in the airline industry, restaurants, those folks who have been affected, they're going to be hurting. But we have a lot of tech jobs in Vancouver. I've talked to my clients who work for Amazon, Microsoft. They don't notice a difference. I, I talked to one of uh, my, my, my Microsoft guy yesterday. He, he said, oh, life's just normal for me. I just go on doing what I've always been doing, right? So um, those folks are, are still in a, in a good position. Jobs the same, salaries the same. If we're a buyer, we, we also want to be aware of what the market was like before the province declared a state of emergency in mid-March. We know that the sales numbers were much higher. In fact, even at the end of March, when we look at the sales to listings ratio, now that just means the, the number of homes. So if you had 10 homes sold, 10 listed, three sold, that's a 30%, three of 10, 30% uh, sales to listings ratio. In and anything above 20% is considered very, very strong and is considered a seller's market. As buyers, we know that detached homes in March, 21% sales to listing ratio, condos, townhouses, 29%. So very strong, very active. Uh, in my, my own case, I had a townhouse listed in Yale Town, beautiful townhouse on Richards. And the Tuesday before the government declared a state of emergency, I had five phone calls on it from realtors expressing interest. And this is a home that's priced in the 1.4 million plus range. So lots of interest, very active. Of course, then the state of emergency and that hit the pause button for this market. Everything slowed down. Of course, of course it would, right? We had uh, an average of about 130-ish sales for the first 10 uh, days of, the, of March. And in the last 10 days, the real estate board said we were in the low 90s. So obviously a drop off because people didn't want it, don't want to go outside. Uh, you, some buyers are still looking right now. And it's, let's say someone who sold their house has to find a place to live maybe by the end of April. They're out looking. I'm out looking with a couple of clients clients that really need a home, you just take precautionary measures. Uh, wear a face mask, you know, you can wear gloves, take your Lysol wipes, wipe down the door handle before you go inside. Lots of things that you can do there, okay, for, for your protection, okay? If you don't need a place, of course, you can wait a month or two. One thing to consider as a buyer, this is a time. Very few listings are coming out. If there's a listing that comes out during this time, it tells me the seller has to sell. Maybe they're taking a job in San Francisco and they've got to be there by mid-May and they have to be sold here in Vancouver. You want to be ready. You might get a home at a four or 5% discount. You might get it at 30 or $40,000 less than you would have in February. So just keep that in mind. You want to be in a position to strike if, if, if you're qualified and if your work situation is okay. 
On the seller side, different situation. I had a listing, I told my, I told my guy, I said, look, let's just wait this out a little more. Let's wait another six weeks. We'll come back to it. We'll revisit it then. As a seller, you want to be thinking about, can we maximize exposure? Can we get enough buyers to come through this property? I think that you've probably, you probably have about 70% of people that would have been looking are now not looking. Where do I get this number from? When I'm talking to my clients who buy or other realtors that are working with their clients, they're telling me, I've, they're telling their clients to wait or their buyer clients have pushed the pause button and it seems like it's three out of four. So that's where I'm getting that number from. Uh, so as a seller, you wanna ride this out a little more. You wanna wait until you know, mid end of May, that's when you come back, that's when we talk about it again and revisit listing your place then, okay? So those are a couple of things we wanna keep in mind. Tenancy agreement. Now, also very important if you're a seller, under a state of emergency, which we are now under, you cannot evict your tenant. So this is obviously throws a big curveball at you here. What are you going to do if you sell the home uh, and the buyer wants to move in two, two and a half months from now, right? Still, we don't have a clear answer on that yet. There's not a clear position formulated. So that's another reason as a seller, I think you want to wait this out. Hopefully your clients, uh, your, your, your tenants uh, are able to make rent. If they are not, there's a couple of things you could do. One, the province has offered a, a relief, a $500 relief, uh, and this would go, if the tenants are a little short on money, they pay, the province would pay you $500, not your tenant, but it goes directly to you. That's one option. Second thing is you can encourage your tenants to apply to the Canada Emergency Response Bank, SERB, you know, the, the, the short acronym, SERB. Have them apply to that. Uh, they would receive $2,000 uh, if they meet the criteria, of course, $2,000 uh, a month in support. So that could help. Barring those two options, I think the third option you're looking at is negotiating some sort of an agreement with your tenant uh, for the next few months uh, until maybe they've, 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 they're getting an income again. Okay, so those are a few options that you have to you. So those are again some of the things we wanted to talk about. Coming back to our final point, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I do think that we're going to, in the summer, we're going to get back to a, a more normal state of life. Not exactly what we had before, but at least with respect to real estate, I think we're going to start to see things bump up. Uh, obviously, mid-April, the sales numbers are going to be way down, right? There's no question about it. And in May, it's probably going to be the same. So we will see once we get into summer, I, I think it, you know, we will start to see an uptick again for, uh, to, uh, to, to something a bit more favorable. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Happy to help in any way we can. Uh, we will see you next time. Thank you.